Well, I know you got class going on right now, but we're about to get some people hyped. I got Moso, I got Humberto Duarte, who competes at Rough 50, October 22nd at the Celebrity Theater. Yes, now, this isn't the first time you've been at the arena. This isn't the first time you fought for Rough, but you're coming off a huge knockout, which was very nice, by the way. Yeah, very nice. Thank you so much. I mean, I wish they would have aired the damn knockout, but unfortunately, they didn't. Um, soon enough, hopefully, um, they do, but uh, I just plan on going out there and giving you guys a more flashy knockout this time around. Um, I know I'm going against a wrestler. I fought two times actually at the Celebrity Theater. Both times I fought grapplers. Both times I lost. Um, something I don't like to admit, but you know what I mean? I gotta face adversity and show these people that my wrestling isn't nothing to play with neither. So uh, I'm just gonna go out there, man. I'm gonna own own the cage and, and own the fight and, and own the crowd and own the people. I just uh, can't wait to go out there and put uh, Oz in everybody's mouths and eyes and uh, show you guys something spectacular, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're very much looking forward to that and the wrestling is only necessary should this fight hit the ground. Now we've seen your improved stand up and we know that the wrestling you're constantly working on. Here at Apex MMA you got a wealth of training partners and I know they're keeping you on your toes for this one. How excited are you to get back in a rough cage? Man, I'm so excited, so excited. To be honest with you, man, I'm kind of just going through a lot right now um, outside of, of the MMA aspect. I've always said, you know, it's not just doing good here, it's doing good outside of here, you know what I mean? So uh, um, right now my outside life isn't everything that I, I wish it could be, but at the same time, I'm using that as more fuel to, to my flame more fuel to go 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 beat this guy up you know what i mean this guy's doing me a favor coming into the cage because i have a lot of darkness that's ready to come out and just uh you know just just to let it out out in the cage the right way and not get in trouble for doing it so um that's why i love this shit <laughs> <laughs> for real for real now look i i'm feeling the energy I'm feeling the energy, and it feels like there's a lot that you got to set off on October 22nd. What can fans expect? New fans, old fans, all of them. What can they expect on the 22nd? They can expect Humberto Duarte 100% going to go out there, put his heart on the line, put everything on the line, and uh, I'm not going to hold anything back. So you guys can see something very exciting, a great performance. Um, so um, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for all of y'all who's going to go out there and... Uh, and show love, show support, not only for me, but for all your Arizona mixed martial artists, because AZ MMA is where it's at. We're the best in the world. And um, I'm just excited to show you guys what's up, you know? People don't realize that how many of us uh, um, up and comers, you know, come out of Arizona that make it at the highest level of the sport. So for me to believe this, it's not, it's not something that's impossible, you know? So uh, I'm just excited to go out there and continue growing and uh, not see where I'm at, but just to beat, the, beat this guy up and, and to show you guys where I'm at. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it too. Now, we all know that flyweight is my favorite division. If you don't know by now, I don't know what the hell you are watching, okay? Because flyweight is what's up. Yeah. Very excited that we have a bunch of flyweights on this card. Really? really? A bunch of flyweights nice. all through nice. the amateur card. It's nice. great. That's awesome. You know, the flyweight division is is is, is growing, and that's a that's a great feeling. You know, it's crazy because because you know the little guys we we love to scrap, and it's crazy that we don't have the biggest division. You know, it's unfortunate. But not to say that, that it's probably going to end up being that way. We're catching up, you know. MMA's catching up. People are catching up to the scene. All these little little cholos are starting to know, hey, I could just do this rather than get in trouble. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's what it is, man. And, and I'm excited. It's going to be a fun night. If there's a lot of flyweights out there, you guys are going to see a lot of exciting stuff. There's, don't, don't blink your eyes because the little guys are fast. They're fast. You, you, you'll miss it. You know what I mean? But um, um, I, 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 what I'm predicting this fight, man, is, is either I'm going to beat this guy up on the feet, on the ground, I'm going to take him down, I'm going to dictate my fight. If that doesn't happen, he's getting knocked out. So, so that's, that's, that's what I see happening in this fight, and I don't see it going any other way. And if the guy wants to make it go another way, come try it. You know what I'm saying? Come try it. Let's go. I know he's from... Uh, 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 extreme couture, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what gym you come from. When it, when, when it comes down to me and you in the cage, 
that's that's what's gonna matter. So uh, so just be ready. I pray that you're a hundred percent. I pray that you have no injuries. I pray that you're gonna bring everything you can to the cage because I perform against. I perform my best when I go against the best, and that's that's what I love. So uh, bring your A game. I forget this guy's name, but bring your A game, whatever your name is, and then uh, we could throw down. You know what I'm saying? That's it. All right. Well, now I can't get you. I know you got to get back to class, coach. I know you got to get back to class. But we got one more question. October 22nd, after you get your hand raised, what's that victory meal looking like for you? Oh, man, it's going to be a steak. You know, I, I, I got I to gotta eat a nice bloody steak and, uh, you know, just uh, probably with baked potato, some type of greens. I don't care. Just asparagus, broccoli, whatever, whatever, whatever they have. I'll take some type of greens with it. Um, that's what I'm really looking forward to uh, as my after meal. Um, after that, you know, I, I, it's weird. It's weird. You know, you say, fighters say, oh, I'm going to have a burger. I'm going to have pizza. I'm going to have this. But once you're eating good for a while, you know, it's hard to eat bad. I don't even want to eat bad. You know, maybe I might eat something bad, but i don't even care for it right now you know it kind of it's kind of grosses me out thinking about it to be honest with you um i'm just gonna get back to it man like uh i got a lot of things happening in my life right now that's allowing me to be to spend more time in the sport not only uh training but teaching coaching growing in all in all all different areas of the sport you know so i'm very excited to uh continue growing and and showcase who i am because Whenever you see Humberto Duarte go out there, you're never going to see the same Humberto Duarte go out there. It's always a newer, better, stronger, improved Humberto Duarte. So that's what you can see going out there November 22nd. And then uh, make sure y'all show up because we partying afterwards, baby. We're going to party afterwards. Let's go. We are going to party afterwards. <laughs> October 22nd at the Celebrity Theater in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Do you have a message for the people watching? I mean... I mean, look. I usually I got a nice hair done. I got I got I got I'm shaved up. I'm looking real clean. But you're getting the rugged the rugged deal. I'm training. I'm working. This is this is a working man's face right now. This is a training man's face right now. You'll see pretty Humberto in about nine days. Pretty beautiful Humberto displaying a pretty beautiful ass whooping when it comes down to it. Right now we working. And, and, and come nine days, do not fucking miss it because you're going to see something fucking spectacular, so spectacular, you know, ex-spectacular because I'm Mexican, fuck it, and I'll say it again. So come on, let's go so you can see this Mexican heart, see this Mexican pride, see this Mexican freaking power, and, and we're going to go display it. We're going to go display it. We're ready to go showcase, showcase the, not only uh, our heart, but our skills, but the game plan. The, you know, this is the next level. We're the new generation. I, I'm, I'm the now of mixed martial arts, you know? So um, it's time to show the world what, what it's about. And I know a lot of people are watching. I know a lot of people um, may not say they know me or act like they don't know me, but I know y'all see me one way or another. So um, when you guys see me, say what's up. Come come shake my hand. I'm, I, you know, what you see on TV, what you see on social media, it's me. It's no fake. It's no fake stuff. Come say hi. Come, come, come shake my hand. You know what I mean? Come talk to me because, you know, I need to build that fan base. I need to build those people. I need to I, I need, you come, come ask me for my Instagram. Do all that. Blow me up. Blow me up. I need it. So uh, I'm just I'm just excited to go out there, man. I'm excited to go out there and uh, showcase these skills and, and be the superstar that I am, you know. 100% and we know you are man. We see how hard you've been working in the gym. We're gonna see it again October 22nd over at the Celebrity Theater. I'm super stoked because it's flyweights. Okay, but not only that we get Humberto Duarte again again ladies and gentlemen super excited super I cannot excited, wait bro. to see you I perform my man. I can't wait brother. I Thank know. you so much bro.